Welcome to Mavis Beacon Teaches Typing, powered by UltraKey, Family Edition. This spoken support can be changed, turned off, or set to automatic. Managers, see preferences when you are logged into management. When users log in, they should review the options and speech menus. Wow. Okay. Uh... I'm just going to let Welcome it... Welcome to Mavis Beacon. Do you remember this? Is this hitting a specific part of your memory, or have you approached this recently? This is Mavis Beacon. Records on the local computer are displayed. Open your record. This is Mavis Beacon teaches typing, and the reason that I'm leaving the voice on is because when I learned how to type, I used Mavis Beacon teaches typing, I believe, seven. This doesn't even have a number anymore, and now there's a 2020 edition, but I'm not going to use that. That's too modern. I want to go back to Enter the beginning. Enter your first name and your last name. The name you end the program is about to create a new record for yeah, you. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Oh, hi. For an introduction to keyboarding with this software, click the movie button. Introduction to Mavis Beacon teaches typing. No. To assess your typing goal, complete the assess level activity. Use the options menu to match the program. <laughs> I remember Mavis talking to me, but I don't remember it occurring this much. But I want you to take in the environment, really soak it in, look deep into your screen and see the background. Smell the late 90s aesthetic of the CG in this place. Look at this four by three monitor that it is in. Look at the window in which we are looking out into the world. All of this just screams late 90s, early 2000s. So I'm going to assess my level because a I learned- A challenge level is a speed and accuracy you will aim for as you learn. To set the best level for you, you will type a short passage of text. Relax. The program will set a goal that is just a little better than you type now. Okay, good. So it's been a while since I've taken a typing test. I don't remember how much I was typing back then. I think I topped out at maybe like 70, 80 words per minute, which is pretty good. But I've been typing ever since then, and I am assuming that I'm a little bit better, but I don't know, so I'm going to assess. And I'm gonna leave Mavis on. I don't care if you want to do this for yourself without the voice. This is authentic to the experience because I remember Mavis talking to me. Get ready. I hear war. Here Place we go. your hands over home row and check your posture. Strike the space bar when you are ready to begin your assessment. I'm ready to begin my assessment. Begin when ready. To hear the material read aloud, highlight the text. Animal call. Oh called the pla- oh god. Uh, the platypus is part man- oh god. And part bird. It has a body like a beaver and a bill and feet like duck. A mother pla- oh god, I keep getting that wrong. Gives milk like all mammal mothers do. She lays eggs like all bird mothers do. There are many other examples of curious creatures in the world. <sighs> I'm done. And the test was stopped by striking the end key. Yes, I know. I, I did that. Errors are highlighted so you can see any patterns. I know, you wouldn't let me backspace, which I think was also a thing in the Mavis Beacon because, oh, I get in such a habit of backspacing, but oh, look at me. What's my assessment? If you are satisfied with your results, move on by striking the space bar. You can try the assessment again by clicking the redo button. Actually, not bad. Gross speed, 75 words per minute, accuracy, 96%. When you look at it like that, that's not too bad. But my net speed is 53 words per minute effectively with, that, with all the errors. However, I was not ready for it, so I could have done better. But now Your I have a- Your challenge level has been set as shown. In skill check, you have to reach this challenge level to pass. Adjust your level by choosing challenge level from the options menu. <laughs> okay, thanks. Excellent typing <sighs> begins with correct body and hand position. <clears throat> Click the posture button. Posture, posture, posture teaches you correct body and hand position. Okay. Good posture is needed for expert keyboarding 
and to prevent strain. You're right. I'm going to be an expert keyboarder. The movie button. Introduction to posture. Movie? Oh. God, look at this. Wow. Intro to posture. Developing good posture habits is the first step in learning to keyboard. This is because positioning your body and preventing it from moving around are both <laughs> needed for accurate typing. Everything we do and how well we this do is it not good depends posture. on how oh, well no. we position our bodies. Okay. Oh. The posture module lets you explore good keyboarding posture using a virtual reality model. A virtual reality video, model? Click, I don't know if that's what that is. Hold and drag the mouse to view the model from different positions. Oh, I think I'm good. For a larger view of good posture, open the Posture VR movie found on the movies menu. When you think you know the key point, I have a quiz. Posture, oh, no. Fun. Okay, wait. Here we go. Okay, here we go. What? Oh, right. Only on Apple can I get the VR version. I'm on SCSI PC. Dirty and boring and gross. Literally, I don't think anybody who types ever types like this with claw hands on keyboard, but um, I'm going to do my best. This is a great video. Great stuff. Thank you. Okay, next. This is, this not, is not good posture. <laughs> Move on to see good posture. I don't know. That's pretty much what I do all the time. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like that's my posture. <laughs> I feel like as a default, I am always that. This is good posture. Move on to learn correct body and hand position. Good posture. Great posture, actually. The model shows correct posture. Click the arrows to discover posture facts. Double click or click the movie. Play I want it. to unsubscribe click from posture facts. Pause. Please, I want to unsubscribe. It's, it's puzzle, puzzle time. time. It's puzzle time. <laughs> It's puzzle time. God, I don't remember doing this. Click on the model where I see unsafe posture. Well, the footies are all wrong. The fingies are all in. The head is all forward and the shoulders are all slouched. The back is sloped and honestly too close to the monitor. All right, let's go with that hunchback. Keep your head up oh, so you can comfortably look over the top of the screen. Over the top. Why? Why is that important? Why is that important? Okay, what about the fingies? Keep your elbows close to your oh, body. God, why? This keeps your arms stable and your wrist at the correct angle. What? I th What's about the wrist rest? You know the wrist rest? What about these footies? Keep your feet <laughs> on the floor. If you cannot what? reach the floor, get a foot stand or lower your chair. Okay, I reached the floor. What about the butt? Center your body in front of the G and H keys. <laughs> all right. Okay, all right. How about this uh, monitor? Keep your wrist parallel to the keyboard. If you need to, put the keyboard on your lap or tilt the keyboard so your wrists are parallel to it. Okay. Relax your shoulders. <sighs> you should never feel tense when you keyboard. I feel tense. Keep your knees, knees square, square so your body is stable. What? Blood should be able to flow easily through your upper legs. How in are you? You're like it sounds like you're gonna send me through a gravity machine. You're gonna spin me around till the G's make me pass out. Neck, head, hair, nose, uh, shoulders, boobs. Okay, it was boobs. Congratulations, gonna... you have identified all eight keys to correct posture. <sighs> Check All your right. posture every time you keyboard. All right. You should now complete the fingers module. Here we go, everybody. Just hold on to your butts. Everybody ready? Center your body. Lean forward slightly. Head up. Relax shoulders. Elbows closed. Knees square. Feet on the floor. Wrist flat. Don't you feel like a proper typist now? <laughs> you wish you were as good as Mavis, but you will never be. You have finished posture. Mm -hmm. You should now complete the fingers module. I want to be a, I want to be a perfect 
finger master. Fingers teaches you correct striking technique, the names of your fingers, and correct hand position. This prepares you for lessons. <laughs> for an introduction, click the movie button. Introduction to Oh, fingers. I do need the movie about fingers. I really do. I like been... posture? The fingers module prepares you for the main lessons. Parents, you can require the posture and fingers activities by setting the sequence control in the preferences found in the management area. Fingers introduces three key concepts. <laughs> Striking technique, the names of the fingers, and the home row position. Your experience begins with video of a real Ultra Key graduate. Wow. After viewing the sample video, you learn each of the finger names. As the lessons introduce new keystrokes, your fingers will be referred to by name. What? The fingers are named after their home keys which form the home row. This is Pointer. This is Pointer. This is J. And your fingers into their positions every single time. Every single time. When you see Get time. Ready, you will know exactly what that means. Uh. So let's get ready by enjoying and learning from the fingers activity. Why wait? <laughs> okay, man, I'm gonna be such a good typer, fingerer. Closely watch how an experienced typist strikes the keys. I'm watching. Notice. Huh? The typist moves her hands as little as possible. The less her hands move, the less energy she uses, and the better she types. She does not press the keys. She strikes them. She quickly strikes them. And cleanly. Double click or right click the movie to play it. I don't need to. Thank you. Let's learn the names of your fingers. <laughs> Didn't I take the assessment test? Wasn't it wasn't it clear that I knew how to type? Your pointer finger is called F because its home position is the F key. Oh. I mean F. Ugh. The other three fingers are also named after their home keys. Strike F again to see all the names. Yeah. Your left hand fingers are called A S A S, S D D F F I know F, A, S, D, F. As. Strike the A key. A. Strike. The S. Strike. D. Strike. F. <laughs> Place your right hand on the keyboard as shown. Yeah, uh, yeah, I got it. Your right hand fingers are named after their home keys. J. J. K. K. L. L. Semicolon. Semicolon. <laughs> uh huh. Strike, Strike the J. J. Strike the K. K. Strike the L. Strike Semicolon. It is just called thumb. It's home key thumb. is the space bar. You're not Watch the thumb. Space bar. Use your thumb when all fingers are on their home keys. The hands are in home row position. Uh huh. Okay. All right. I'm ready. Strike the space ah, key. One gotcha. finger of each hand anchored on its home key while you keyboard. Strike the space. Ah. Practice the finger names. As each I'm name ready. is highlighted, strike the finger's home key. Semicolon. I'm counting on you. Say the names as you type. I will. F. F A. 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 L. L. F. K. K. Thumb. S. S. L. K. L. Semicolon. J. S. L. Thumb. F. Thumb. A. L. L. Thumb. S. L. S. K. F. Thumb. K. S. L. D. K. L. A. Thumb. J. F. Thumb. Where's semicolon? Give me semicolon. Strike enter when you know the name. Semicolon. Semicolon. There it is. 
I'm ready. <laughs> oh, no. God. Now you know your finger name oh, and dear. how to strike the keys. Uh -huh. You are ready for lessons. Strike the space bar. Oh. You have finished posture and... You mean strike thumb. The lessons module teaches new oh. keys. For best results, take a lesson and then use skill check. Can I just do... I know the keys. I swear I do, guys. Current I... settings require you to complete at least <laughs> one lesson before using skill check. Let me get an introduction to lessons. I, I want to know. Mavis Beacon teaches typing, introduces three to four keystrokes at a time using 13 sequined lessons. Each lesson has distinct steps. When starting your first session of the day, take a warm up to practice the things you already know and limber up your fingers. You will be given simple exercises for each new the hands twink from the stretches what? menu what? anytime. What? what? Whoa! You... Hold on! Hold! Hold the set! Oh wait! Whoa! 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 Knowing when and how to take stretch breaks is a part of learning to type. Is it? Is it? You can also select stretch sequences from the stretches menu anytime. Stretch, stretch, <gasps> what? <laughs> stretch arms and neck. Do you have <laughs> aching muscles or feel tense? I mean, yeah. Stretch breaks relieve all of that so oh, okay. you can continue keyboarding in comfort. Keyboarding? Start by raising your hands like the model you see and wiggle your fingers. <laughs> Keep your arms up. Whee! Oh, I have to you do like this. You should feel a tingling sensation as blood flows up and down your arms. What tingling sensation? And again. And again. Remember, you should stand up and stretch any time you feel pain or tension. What if I feel pain and tension all the time? Should I always be standing and wiggling my fingers? Let's continue this stretch by gently flexing your neck. What? Right. Right. Pause. My uh, camera's mirrored. Don't worry. I know my rights and lefts. Left. Left. Pause. This is so not Keep what it I. Real <laughs> slow. I don't know what's happening. Forward. Forward. Pause. Hug. Never flex your neck back because that can squeeze tiny bones and nerves. Easy does it. <laughs> Ha, screw you, I'm doing it anyway. Wee. Left. Left. Pause. Hug. Keep it real slow. Real slow. This is actually... Forward. A, this is fantastic. I thought I was going to be typing today. It turns out I learned my fingies and also stretching. Nicely done. <laughs> Thank you. Here comes the wave. Whoa. Encore. I wonder if this company still exists. A Navarre Corporation company. That's great. That's great. I want arms and shoulders. Forward. Back. Keep it gentle. If any muscles are sore, roll just enough so you don't feel pain. Forward. Back. Slow. Slow. Forward. Back. Very nice. Thank you. Before you sit down, mm. take one deep breath and let it all out. Look, I know that if I had been doing this all my life given that I've been in front of a computer pretty much every day of my life since I first got in front of a computer I know that my posture would be better and I would not have any back pain I know this so I'm going to take all of this to heart and I'm going to make sure that I do these every day through Mavis Beacon from now on left pause oh. center. center 
Pause. Pause. Right. Right. Pause. Pause. And again. <laughs> All right. Not, here comes the wave, everybody. I'm just going to go into this. Choose a lesson step. I can only choose one. Get ready. What? Place your hands. Ha! The A key is a. struck with the A, a. finger. A. 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 Watch the screen a. before you type. Type the A key to a. go on. A. Type the A key and a space. Watch a. the screen and keyboard this line. A. A. A space. A space. The S key is struck with the S finger. Type the S key and a space. Watch the screen and keyboard what you see. The D key is struck with the D finger. Watch the screen and keep that good posture. Type the D key and a space. Say the letters in your mind to help you remember. Lexium put the D letters space. in my mind. The F key is struck with the F finger. Check your hands before you type. Type the F key to move to the next step. Keep both hands on the keyboard as you watch and type. F space. The J key is struck with the Oh, God, kill me. Mavis, be gonna no release me from this hell. Please, Mavis, may Miss Beacon, Mrs. Beacon. The K key is struck with the K finger. As you strike the right hand keys, keep the left huh? hand in oh position. God. Oh no! K key ah, I'm okay. to go on. Mavis Beacon would never crash on me. Type the semicolon key to go on. So Type the little semicolon effort. key and a space. Slow down and feel the keys. You're almost there. Uh, slow down, okay. Semicolon space. 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 The enter key is <sighs> struck with the semicolon finger, which returns quickly to home row. The enter key can be a stretch for small fingers, but the J finger hangs on to its home position. Type the enter key to move on. Practice striking the enter key, followed by its home key, the semicolon. Enter semicolon. And, 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 enter semicolon. And semicolon enters the root. Ah, now you are ready to work with words and sentences. Take, <laughs> Take a, a stretch, stretch break. break. Okay, guys. When you have finished stretching. It's a stretch break, guys. We're going to go neck and trunk. That's what I think I need. Right. Pause. Left. Pause. Forward. Pause. Never flex your neck back because that can squeeze. Let's complete this stretch with a gentle turn. No. Okay. Strike space bar. I'm ready. These words use letters learned so far. Relax and take your time as you type them. Okay. Ads, that's, that's not a word. Uh, ads, it is a word. Asks. Asks. Fad. Fad. Flock. Flock. Ask. Ask. Dad. Dad. Lads. Lads. Sad. Sad. Dad. Dad. You have finished step two. Now keyboard sentences. Ask dad semicolon. Ask dads. Oh. Lads ask all dads semicolon. La la well, hold on. Lads ask all dads semicolon. Add salad semicolon. Add salads. <laughs> we need more salads. I'm add so alfalfa semicolon. <laughs> the salad needs alfalfa. 
Ask lads semicolon. Ask the lads for more alfalfa. All fall salads ask flasks alas semicolon. Oh, all fall salads ask flasks alas. <laughs> Terrific. Yay. You have completed the lesson, so you are ready to practice with skill check. Check my skills. Choose a skill check that matches a com Challenger. Choose a skill check passage that interests you. Florida. What about Florida? You have chosen a passage. Now choose a length or time for the skill check. Paragraph. I'm Get ready. ready. Yes. Place your hands over home row and check your posture. Ready. Begin when ready. Florida entered the Union on March 3rd, 1845. Oops. As the 20th heaven. Hey. The main growth began in the early 20th century, and by the 90th, oh, I got it. It had a diversified economy. Congratulations. <laughs> you passed your challenge level. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Review this chart to assess your progress. That's pretty good. Compare your speed and accuracy goals to the results on this skill check. That's pretty good. Well done. You had very few errors in your typing. Thank you. Daddy. Choose a skill check passage that interests you. You have chosen a passage. How about entire now passage? Now choose a length or time. Let me do the entire passage. I got this one. The Stone Age. Get ready? Ready. Long ago, during the Stone Age, life was very different. Men, women, and children did not live the way we live today. They did not live in houses as we do. They did not know how to read or write. They could not go to the grocery stores when they were hungry or clothing stores when they needed to protect themselves from the weather. The Stone Age people were mainly hunters. Uh, excuse me. They moved from place to place, trying to find food to survive. After they killed an animal, they would eat the meat, then make clothes from the animal skin. Tools were sometimes made from the leftover animal bones. They did not know how to grow food, so they searched for wild berries and nuts to eat. The Stone Age people lived outdoors or in caves. They felt the heat of summer and the cold of winter. These people of long ago learned to use fire for cooking, warmth, light, and protection against wa the wild animals at night. Archaeologists have helped us learn about these people of long ago. An archaeologist is a person who digs into the earth. While digging, they find different artifacts from the past. They study the objects they find, and by doing so, they have learned how people looked and lived long ago during the Stone Age. Boom. There were too many errors huh? to report, or you did not type the selected length of material. Please try again. Huh? Huh? I don't want to try again. All right, get ready for Florida. Ready? I'm going to do it my way. I was doing that the posture way. I'm actually going to not do that. Begin when ready. Florida. Oh, <laughs> one second. <laughs> hey, let's see. Check my posture. I'm going. Florida entered. Oh.
your errors are highlighted oh so you can see. Oh my God, that sucked. Review chart to assess your that progress. That sucked. My accuracy was still somehow 96%. That is nuts. Okay, but it was because your it was- Your accuracy remained okay, but it dropped just a oh, little. Oh, shush. Shush. Choose a skill. Shush. Choose a skill check passage right. that interests you. Shush. Shush. It's because there were so many parentheses and numbers. I don't like those. You this have chosen me. a passage. I'm doing this. Ne Here we go. Get ready. Begin when ready. <sighs> Choose a skill. Choose a. You have. I got this. Begin when ready. Oh God, my caps lock. No. There were too many oh, errors. Oh, it was because of the caps locks. Or oh. You did not type the selected length. Oh, oh no. Speaking. Go back. Okay. Open record, you open record. Hold on. Choose a skill check. I can do this. Choose I a can skill do check this. passage that interests you. I can have do this. I've got this. Get ready. This is the ultimate Place challenge. Your hands My over hands home are road. cramping up, but it's fine. Caps lock is off. I'm good to go. Let's do it. Your errors oh. are highlighted oh. so you can see oh. any patterns. Oh my god. Oh. Review this chart to assess Net your progress. speed 86! That is net speed in accounting for my errors, which is pretty good. Great. You improved your accuracy and increased your speed. I did it. And now that I did that, I want to do one more. I'm just going to do the first paragraph. I'm going to try to get 100% accuracy as fast as I can. Damn it. Damn it. Hundred percent accuracy was out the window. Ninety. <laughs> and I want to do an assess level. A I want to do this level. again. Shush, shush. I'm assessing. The test was stuck. Your errors are high. Gross speed 100! Satisfied with your results. Gross speed 100! You can try the assessment <sighs> again by clicking the redo button. <sighs> My God. <sighs> the typing form lets you take typing tests and complete free typing activity. Typing test? Get ready. I'm ready. Place your hands. Ready. Begin when ready. Cheryl was invited to join a choir by her friend. When she got there, she found chaos! Her friend said this was normal for the first half hour. Cheryl loved to sing and she had a lovely voice. She could also sight read music very well. This would be an asset to any choral group she joined. It was immediately obvious that this group was made up of friends who wanted to visit but were not too keen on doing the work needed to make fine music. The choir leader was happy to have such a serious singer in the group and she knew that he would coax her to stay. She figured the only way 
to withdraw gracefully was to have the leader tell her not to come back. So she turned her music upside down to convince him and the other members that she had a great voice but would sing the wrong notes. The leader quickly suggested that she join another choir. A semicolon. One that would compete with his choir in the music festival. Your errors are <sighs> highlighted. What's my growth? Oh, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. No, a challenge no, level. no, no. I'm here for speed. My Get hands ready. are so tired. Place your hands over home row uh, and check your posture. May Strike this begin. Give me you your godly grace. I'm ready. Begin when ready. Did you know? To hear the material read aloud, highlight the text. Why are you here? Get May ready. Miss Beacon give Place me your, your godly home. grace. Begin when ready. To hear the material read aloud, highlight the text. Ah! Accuracy I wasn't ready. You will aim for as you I wasn't mind. ready for. I wasn't Get ready. ready for. Begin that. when ready. To hear the material read aloud, highlight the text. Hi. Did you know there is a curious mixed up animal called the platypus? The platypus is part mammal and part bird. It has a body like a beaver and a bill and feet like a duck. A mother platypus gives milk like all mammal mothers do. She lays eggs like all bird mothers do. There are many other examples of curious creatures in the world. A challenge. <laughs> Begin when ready. Did you know there is a curious mixed up animal called the platypus? The platypus is part mammal and part bird. It has a body like a beaver and a bill and feet like a duck. A mother platypus gives milk like all mammal mothers do. She lays eggs like all bird mothers do. There are many other examples of curious creatures in the world. The test was stopped by sh your errors are high. 114! Yes, 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 yes! You can try the assessment again <sighs> by clicking the redo button. I've done it. I did it, everyone. I did it. I went 114 growth speed. That's all that matters. I'm the fast. I'm not the fastest, but I'm fast. I'm Welcome done. to Mavis no, Beacon. No, 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 please. No, please. Skill checks. No, no. What's a tata snail? Kids still salt salad. A ton of onions, a torrid tornado, another orn. Guilt and fairs. Practice orn. <sighs> <sighs> Welcome. No, speaking, no. Welcome no. to Mavis Beacon, Teaches Typing, powered by UltraKey. This spoken support can be changed or set to autom- Welcome to- Welcome- 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 Well, everybody, it's time for a nice arm and shoulder stretch. Do you have aching muscles or feel tense? Start by raising your hands like the model you see and wiggle your fingers. Shush. Thank you all so much for being a part of this wonderful video where Mavis Beacon taught us to type. I was not prepared for it. Maybe I'll try the 2020 edition later on, but this was a good blast from the past. Remember, type with correct posture all of your comments down below. Do not deviate from the home row, lest the ghost of Mavis Beacon will come and haunt you for the rest of your... Is Mavis Beacon still alive? Is Mavis Beacon a real person? In 2022, Seeking Mavis Beacon, a documentary was released to tell the story of Mavis Beacon and its creations by the men behind the company, Joe Abrams, Les Crane, and Walt Bilofsky. What? Mavis, why are you here? M Mavis, Mavis, no, Mavis! Ah! It's puzzle time. <laughs>